could feel beauty rising. Hi, my name is Sue Skaskew and I'm with Vermont Volunteer Services for Animals Humane Society. Welcome to our show, For the Animals. Today we have a really, really exciting event to talk about. Animal activist, world-renowned dog behaviorist and TV personality Caesar Milan is going to bring his dog training tips and advice to animal lovers in Vermont on October 20th, 2012 from 6 to 8 o'clock in Burlington at the Sheridan. Uh, together with the Caesar Milan Foundation, Fairhaven Veterinary Hospital, and BBSA Humane Society, we've teamed up for a night of fun dedicated to support animal welfare. Uh, Milan is the best-selling author, a much in-demand public speaker, and branded pet care product designer and entrepreneur, but not least of all, an internationally popular animal activist and behaviorist. Milan officially established the Caesar Milan Foundation in 2007 with the mission to create and deliver community humane education and promote animal welfare. Since its inception in 2007, the Caesar Milan Foundation has provided grants and materials to nonprofit animal organizations to support the rescue, rehabilitation, and rehoming of abandoned and abused dogs. They've mobilized emergency assistance through the Daddy's Emergency Animal Rescue, also known as the Deer Fund, and contributed critical funding and professional insight to develop the Muttergrees curriculum and the Pet Savers Foundation and North Shore Animal League of America in collaboration with the Yale University School of the 21st Century. The Caesar Milan Foundation is headed by Executive Director Jillian Dunn, who is here with us today on the phone in California. Jillian works directly with Caesar to maintain the goals and national objectives of the Caesar Milan Foundation, and she's responsible for the rescue and adoption of dozens of animals. She's an active supporter of the Animals Advocate Alliance, the Lange Foundation, and the North Shore Animal League. As the creator of the fundraiser event and appearance with Caesar in Vermont, we've invited Jillian to share the details with us on how you can participate, how you can help make a difference in the animal welfare, and what Caesar will teach us all about helping humans and dogs live a healthy and happy life together. Welcome, Jillian. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being with us today. Can you please tell us a little bit about Caesar and his philosophy? Well, I will tell you that Caesar is, uh, is a man with a dream. Uh, and he just keeps dreaming, and there's something so inspiring about him and his beliefs that it's not just how he is with dogs, but really how he is with people. And I get a lot of people telling me, you know, I see Caesar's show and I love it, and I'll say, well, what kind of dog do you have? And I'll say, well, I don't have dog, but I, I do love dogs. But it's really that the philosophy that he is inspiring to people is, is for people as much as it is for dogs. So I will say that about Caesar because as much as people know him as a dog whisperer or a you know, famous intelligent
is to live your past. I'm always so impressed when I watch the show, especially when it shows Caesar with his dogs, all the big, the big pack of dogs, and they all get along. And just having had my beloved dog, Kiwi, who has since passed, I always joke that he was my liability waiting to happen because he did not like other dogs. He liked two other dogs. And he had a, ter I was sharing with you on the phone the other day, his beginning, and he came so far in his life. But, you know, I, just that last step, we could never get over. But that's why I'm so impressed when I see Caesar on television. He does remarkable work, and the man seems like he has incredible energy, too. He does, and he, he, is, uh, he has a nature about him with animals that um, it's like listening to a beautiful singer who just has these lungs and these, these vocals that they're born with, and he has this play about him. I believe that he has just something that you say, I'm never going to sing like maybe he's there, right? He's Aguilera, and I, I'm sure that Caesar is that of the, of the dog world in terms of his ability, and other trainers may aspire and some of them are equally good. sure we put up the website because it is just chock full of interesting programs and information but I've got to ask you how and why did you decide to bring this special appearance to our state Steve is an incredibly um, 
um, what's the best word? To, he's visionary. I know we had talked about this a couple of years ago, and he said, we're going to do it. I said, okay, Steve, we'll do it. And he does make things happen. He's wonderful from Fairhaven Veterinarian Hospital. Um, but I'm interested, too. Could you tell us? Yeah, I don't mind either, actually. <laughs> I love it. Um, I would say that you have done that a lot in common. It'll be a fun night for sure. But I'm interested in you too. Could you tell me how you came to be the executive director for the Caesar Milan Foundation? Oh, uh, yes. I, um, I was sort of down through some friends of mine who work in the in fundraising sector that you know, Caesar and his pack were looking for a new executive director. I had worked in business development and I was a bit of a marketing mutt, whether it be branding or um, integration, you know, a lot of different marketing disciplines sort of under my belt in the past, but uh, and I was always an animal lover. But I did come out of the shelter world or the foundation uh, for animal world. I've been on board in different areas. I work with Save the Children, I work with the Jason Foundation, which is a team suicide prevention organization, um, and also I, in the arts, I was on the board for local contemporaries here in Los Angeles. So the fundraising, the business development, the marketing, and then of course my passion for animals kind of all came together, and the first time I met with uh, the president of the company, Bob Aiello, we had a very, you know, formal is, is a strong word, it was a very comfortable interview. The um, second time I came back to meet with them, I met with Caesar, and then I was offered the position, and apparently uh, Bob explained that Caesar hired me based on my energy. <laughs> I had the right energy for the pack. Uh, good. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> I have never been hired for that, <laughs> um, but I think that's a wonderful way to be um, brought into the pack, and that is really how Caesar is driven, so I certainly hope that he you're involved in so many different uh, points of assistance. It's, it's really interesting and very impressive. How long has your foundation been rescuing animals? Society, my Humane Society is big time into spay neuter. We started the first statewide spay neuter program back almost 30 years ago, and seven years ago drafted legislation that has since created the VSNP program, Vermont Spay Neuter Incentive Program, where folks that are income eligible can have their cats and dogs spayed and neutered and vaccinated for a co payment for them for $25, and the rest is paid for by funds that. Every time a person goes to register their dog, $3 is put into a designated fund and that pays the balance and 
Fairhaven Animal Hospital is but one of 80 points of service. So we really have addressed spay neuter big time in this state and you know what I'm happy to say it's working. We are still euthanizing but it's it's making big strides. Um, we have about five minutes left believe it or not and I wonder I have a couple questions I really wanted to ask you. What is the message that Caesar and his foundation want to get out to the people in Vermont? Humane education. And that is not specific to Vermont. That is really what our message is overall. It's, um, we really want people to understand that education is, humane education is first and foremost. There's valuing an animal is so important to understanding the dynamics of an animal and, it, and their energy and their needs is so important. And of course, spay and neutering is, it's a sort of way to defeat the law. You know, you buckle up to save mm -hmm. life, and this is, spay and neutering is saving lives. It is helping with an overpopulation that can cut almost in half the overpopulation problem. Of course, there's still puppy mills, backyard breeders that become a problem. And that's what we're also working to help ban and support and very strongly about those, those issues as well. So we have a, a new fund that's created for natural disasters and man-made and being, you know, what puppy mill that gets raised and things like that. But mm. in education is our is our big focus and actually with the help of Yale University as you mentioned, um, these are help to create and we support uh, the Mud Agrees curriculum which is now in over two thousand Make sure we get that information up on the screen. Um, who will it, what will attendees gain from coming to this event on the 22nd of October? 20th, 20th October. What are we hoping to? Um, if I were to attend, what would I expect to see? And you'll be out here too, right? Of course. All right. I get to meet you in person. Okay, we've got three minutes left. Can you tell me one great story about Caesar and one great story about yourself?
Oh. It was also fun when I fell off. <laughs> and then as Caesar got off the horse and came to me, all the dogs surrounded him, but the llama came to me, and uh, they're very curious creatures, so I was sniffed up and down by a, a llama who, of course, was tickling me, and all I could hear Caesar saying was, Gillian, don't react. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. And we are so excited about bringing you all out here. Can't wait. Saturday, October 20th. And to get um, ticket information, go to www.caesar, C-E-S-A-R, Vermont, spell it out, dot event, E-V-E-N-T, V-R-I-T-E, dot com. I hope you join us that evening, and again, thank you very much for watching For the Animals. And Jillian, thank you very much for being on. Thank you so much. Thanks to everyone in Vermont. We can't wait to get there. And also, we just want to make sure that you know that this is a fundraising event for the Caesar Milan Foundation, and we will also be making a donation to the Vermont Humane Society to support all of your efforts. And I told all of our fans that we're there, they're all very jealous. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't wait. Thanks again. And thank you for watching our show.